Okay, so Jess, how did you come across the Thompson Method? Would you like to start there? Sure. So it was actually quite um, a coincidence, really. I was about four weeks into my breastfeeding journey with my first son, Jack, who's now three. And I was having a lot of trouble in terms of nipple trauma. And I had Googled everything. I'd just been sitting there thinking there has to be an easier way. And I was just getting to my wits end, like lots of my friends had said to me, yeah, the first few weeks are really tough. And, um, but you know, I was coming up four weeks, five weeks, and there was just kind of really no end in sight in terms of the pain that I was experiencing. So I just decided on a whim to drop into a local breastfeeding clinic and it must have just meant to be because there was a lactation consultant there who wasn't the usual one who ran it so she was relieving and she had just discovered the Thompson method herself and when I said to her what was going on she said well just try this method and she gently guided me during that clinic and it was instant relief I just couldn't believe that I hadn't found anything on my hours of research um, that was this gentle and effective and it was just that kind of that golden moment that I was waiting for so it, everything aligned and um, from there on I just went onto the Thompson Method Facebook group and just devoured all the content and everything I could and really tried to make myself an expert so that I didn't experience any pain again absolutely and and for you um you you obviously went on to have baby number two and yes. and that's why this is such an interesting topic because i'd like to know you what you wish you knew with breastfeeding mm. your first baby so that's where mm. i'll go next what do you wish you knew the first time around with breastfeeding well in a nutshell really and i'll expand on it is the thompson method i really wish that i was had a equip myself with the skills of this beautiful gentle method so that from the get-go I trusted my maternal instincts I um, took my baby to the breast in a really nice gentle way and didn't get muddled and confused with all of the conflicting information around that forceful cross cradle method and um, yeah I think it just would have really boosted my confidence to have listened to myself. I had gotten myself to a really beautiful birth and trusted my instincts there. And I don't know then when, when it came to breastfeeding where it all kind of started to go wrong. So I think that if I had really given myself the gift of the skills and the knowledge of the breastfeeding method, Thompson breastfeeding method, that I would have avoided that, um, those issues in the first place. Absolutely. And how wonderful it is that, as you said, you just so happened to have met a midwife that day, someone that was helping with yes. breastfeeding that, that knew about the Thompson method. Of course, so many women yes. aren't as fortunate as that to, to have someone in the area locally that, that knows the method. But we are reaching more professionals now, which is really, really important for us. So then just tell me, what would you say, um, would you agree, shall I say, that breastfeeding preparation is so important during pregnancy? And like we did, you with your first, my with my only son, Jacob, we left it to chance, didn't we? We thought it would yeah. come naturally. Yeah, absolutely. And I did. I thought, well, you know, women have been doing this for ever and um, it'll just all happen naturally. And and I went to some antenatal courses, but breastfeeding was touched on probably for about 10 minutes. And um, the people that were running it made it sound so easy. So I just thought, yep, when it happens, it's just going to happen. And my baby's instincts will kick in and my instincts will kick in. And, and actually they did um, kick in, but it was interference, I think, unfortunately, that... Um, meant it all kind of started to go a bit downhill so mm, i think yeah. my, my light bulb moment was learning about the three golden hours i mean admittedly yes. i learned about them too late but yes. um when i learned about you know dr robin how she encourages us to trust our instincts like you say and to try yeah. and 
enjoy that mm. last breastfeed without the pressure of being rushed. Um, I, I thought, I think that was my light bulb moment. I just, I can pinpoint not just one, but a few things that, that really affected and impacted my breastfeeding journey and, mm. until I was able to overcome the challenges. Would you say that second time round, having that, like you said, that preparation, that knowledge with the, the understanding of the new skills, was, was, that, mm. was that imperatively what changed your journey second time round? Oh yeah, so throughout my pregnancy I had a really strong plan in place with my midwife. Pretty much I said to her, hey, with all due respect, I've got this <laughs> second time around. Um, you know, I want those three golden hours. I, I don't want any unnecessary handling of my baby. And um, all of those things that we put, plans that we put into place happened. And it was just an absolute night and day difference in experience the second time around where you know I, I had the skills and I trusted my instincts and and I just leisurely took my time with my baby and didn't try to force anything and um, absolutely no breastfeeding complications whatsoever. So, well, congratulations yeah. and you told me before that you're actually at six months today so congratulations yeah. you have done yeah. amazing. So Jess tell me then in a nutshell what where would you mm. be now and what would have happened do you think would have happened in hindsight if you hadn't have discovered the Thompson method and, and gone on to purchase the program? Well I think with Jack I mean I was really determined to breastfeed and so I was pushing through at week five, six um, in a lot of pain with a lot of people telling me to give up. So potentially I may have, although I was very determined not to, but I think I probably would have introduced some kind of aid to um, reduce the pain. So I was seriously considering nipple shields, even though a lot of people were saying to me don't. Um, so, you know, who knows? But I, I think that it, my breastfeeding journey would have looked quite different and perhaps I would have still been in a lot of pain or it would have led to other complications whereas by kind of week five or six with, with Jack everything seemed to iron out as soon as I implemented all of the skills of the Thompson method. Yeah wow I mean it's really it's really empowering that you have such a yeah. contrast in experiences although you did a wonderful job overcoming those with, with a little bit of education and support with Jack mm. second time round to say that you've been able to avoid all of those is just yeah. it's so, such a yeah. wonderful thing to hear for, for us from our perspective because it just it just goes to show that preparation and education is, knowledge is power as Dr Robin says so that's really wonderful so you've now started a new journey a new adventure and a new beginning mm -hmm. um, because mm -hmm. you have actually joined dr robin's breastfeeding academy so that's really mm -hmm. rather exciting tell us a little bit why about why you decided to to make that leap and and start something new for yourself sure so the biggest reason is that i i had the lived experience of going through this method and seeing how wonderful it can be so I really wanted to get the skills and the knowledge to be able to share that with other mothers and I find it really hard to believe actually that this isn't taught as best practice across the world so I really just want to get it out there so that anyone else who is going through the same kind of journey that I was can see that there is a, another way and that they have at least the option to continue with breastfeeding when they may have been considering giving up so that's my absolute main driver oh wonderful so you are super duper passionate about sharing yes. the, the thompson method across the world and, and with women locally in your area and your community as well and where are you jess tell us where you are yeah so i'm based in uh, taranaki in new zealand wow very much more exotic than where i am here in good old blighty in England. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, that's fantastic. So you are you are starting academy and you plan to become a Thompson Method breastfeeding educator. That's really, yeah. really exciting. How are you liking yeah. Academy? Oh, it's wonderful. The the um, amount of one on one time that you get with Dr. Robin herself is really amazing. I wasn't expecting that. So, you know, I just thought she'd be a very, very busy woman and 
So for her to show up and impart her knowledge is just fantastic. And the course material itself is set out in a very easy way to understand and read. And I've just got the app on my phone. I do a lot of reading while I'm breastfeeding. You know, I, I feel that the team has made it uh, made a real effort to make it easy for a woman like myself to be able to study while we're busy with our lives. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm so excited for you and and this new journey, like I said, an adventure that you're about to start. And um, I wish you, you all the best. And thank you so much for, for sharing that with us.